So one of the first things a lot of Call of Duty players do when they first get their hands on the latest COD game is have a look through all of the guns on offer. You know when you're setting up your first classes you have a little scroll down the weapons list and think oh that gun at rank 47 looks good. However, over the years the developers have locked some proper shit tier weapons behind high ranks, all that grinding just to unlock an absolute pea shooter. So in this video, we're going to be looking at some of the worst guns unlocked late in Call of Duty games, using the same stipulation as my best guns unlocked late video, which is I'm only counting the final 10 ranks of that COD game as unlocked late. So now you know that. Let's get started. Kicking things off on COD 4 at rank 46, we get the M14. Now, I expect some of these to be controversial choices, but take off your nostalgia glasses for a second and just look at the iron sights. You can't see what you're shooting at. I have less trouble looking through a sewing needle than these sights, not to mention if you're actually do the smart thing and attach an ACOG sight onto it, you've basically got yourself a less powerful M21. I mean, the sights on the gun are bad enough, but the kick on it alone is so violent that it's censored in Australia. It might only take 2-3 to three shots to kill, but that means nothing when your first shot hits, but your second and third shots are attacking the clouds. Besides, and this is just personal preference, I've always preferred the rank 25 G3 to the M14. Up at rank 52 we have a Peculiar weapon in this game, the MP44. Now, admittedly, it did feel a little harsh to include this gun at first, as it's meant to be a bit of a, a throwback, a reference to Infinity Ward's previous World War II games, which is nice and all, but why did they make it a late game unlock, especially when it has no attachments, no sights, no silencer, not even a noob tube to help this old relic out? I know that's the point of it, having no attachments by the way, I'm just saying that it was a big disappointment unlocking the MP44 so late, but anyways, how does it handle? Not very well, truth be told. Again, a combination of heavy recoil and poor iron sights make this gun a challenge to use effectively. Don't get me wrong, it does pack a punch. It's as powerful as the AK pretty much, but another major letdown for it is its fire rate, the slowest of any full auto gun in the game. There's just no defending that, and I think it's earned its spot on this list. Ah, Model Mafia 2 with your overpowered, well, everything. Everything except this rank 60 number, the F2000. Now, I'm sad to say F2000, but you are probably the most expected gun to feature on this video. Now, granted you do have a few hardcore fans, I appreciate that, but what I don't appreciate is your shitty iron sights. There's a theme developing in this video. <laughs> Poor iron sights really do hinder a gun, especially in the older CODs. They don't have a pick 10 or whatever system and create a class, so you're kind of forced to attach a sight on it, which admittedly, again, is pretty cool. I'll give it that. I've always liked it. However, that means I can't attach extended mags, and boy oh boy do you need these with the F2000. It shoots far too fast for its own good. It burns through more ammo than Rambo on coke. Combine that with terrible recoil and you can forget about getting into long range engagements. Furthermore, yes there is more to this, it takes an age to reload, so even if you are trying to use it effectively, aggressively in close quarters, chances are you're going to be killed whilst reloading the thing. It's just, I mean, the F2000, I really looked forward to unlocking you back in the day, what a, what a big letdown. Moving on to Black Ops and when we reach rank 48 we are bestowed the China Lake Grenade Launcher. Actually, bestowed isn't correct, we still need to buy it for 2000 COD points, but nonetheless, the China Lake is a pump action noob tube. I cannot deny the concept of that, does sound cool, however Treyarch, thankfully, had severely nerfed noob tubes compared to MW2, which included the China Lake. I've had diarrhea more explosive than this thing. You need to land your shot within 3 metres of someone to kill them, and like I say, my explosive diarrhea has a much wider effective radius than that. Another thing is you can't shoot with you can't shoot from the hip. You've got to excruciatingly aim down the sights to shoot it, which by the time you've done that, you're probably dead. And if you're not, by the time you get your second shot off, fucking global warming will have totally evaporated China Lake. It only comes with two shots too without scavenger, and it's probably for the best, so you don't waste more of your life using this. At this point in the video, I just want to say if you're a new viewer and having a good time, why don't you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to join our amazing notification squad like the two legends on your screen have done. Join the fun we have here on the channel, go on. 
I still find it funny that Modern Warfare 3 had 80 ranks, that's just <laughs> mental. And all the way up at rank 70 we get the G18, which sadly was not as good as its MW2 version. You don't expect too much from it as it is a secondary, but there's better options available way before rank 70, namely the FMG9, but back to the G18. Its recoil is so out of control I nearly fell out of my chair shooting it. Going akimbo isn't much better either, with so little rounds in the clip you spend more time reloading them than shooting them, it's a sad one to take. Here's potentially the most controversial inclusion in this video, the FAD unlocked at the ridiculously high rank of 78. I remember pining for this thing as I'm making my way through the ranks, it just looked so cool and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Unfortunately, it wasn't nearly as good as it was cool looking. I am going to say that I don't think the FAD is nearly as bad as it's made out to be by some people. I think it's meant to be that fast firing, low damage assault rifle and with its manageable recoil it does play that role okay. It's not outstanding by any means and I, I think that's why people look down on it so much. It's just, it's alright and at rank 78 you don't want just alright, you want the power of Zeus in your hands. Although. I'm going to end off the FAD review with some positive feedback, strangely enough, for a, a video of this nature. I think the FAD has one of the best iron sights in COD history. I think I had to get that off my chest after some of the previous sites I've had to deal with. Jumping into the last COD game to feature in this video, Advanced Warfare. Now I need to hit you with a disclaimer that despite me slating these guns, the background gameplay might be decent as it's not from me. <laughs> I'll link them all in the description but making an appearance for the second time in this video, we have the MK14 unlocked at rank 42. Maybe a bit unlucky to feature twice, but let's be honest, if it wasn't great in 2011, it's hardly going to be more effective shooting at bunny rabbits hopping about the place in 2054, is it? That kind of sums it up, to be honest, actually. The gun just shoots way too slow to be used effectively in this COD, and it is completely outshone by most other assault rifles in the game. And finally, we have the crossbow at rank 48. It is technically a gun, Kinda, who cares, it suffers the same fate as the MK14. In this advanced period of time, there's just so much more better options to shoot at soldiers who are flying around the map at all speeds. Why this had to be unlocked so late, I do not know. Folks, that is going to be it for this video. After Advanced Warfare, it seems the devs stopped littering the, the late ranks with shite and started rewarding the grind with some decent weapons. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please do leave a like on it. Let's go for that 2000 like goal as usual. Love to see that. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought of the weapons on this list. Agree? Disagree? Let me know and once again, if you're new around here, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.